Today I'm going to be reviewing these Superior Trading Company Fire Starters. Now there's going to be 50 of them inside of this little bucket that I purchased. They do a variety of different sizes that you can choose from. These are designed to burn between 10 to 15 minutes. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to test this out. So I'm going to put one right here on my campfire, just right here in the middle of this campfire ring. And I'm going to light it on fire and then I'm going to start a timer here on my watch. And we will see exactly how long it actually lasts on its own. And if it actually lasts for that 10 to 15 minute burn time, like they claim on the packaging and on their listing on Amazon. So when you first open it up, it will have some tape on it. So I just cut through the tape. There's a little piece of plastic here that you'll just have to break. So I went ahead and did that just to make it easier to get to the lid. And this is what it's going to look like inside. And again, there's going to be 50 of these. So I'm going to go ahead and light one and then start a timer. I've actually got an electric lighter here. I'm going to see if that'll work. I'm going to put one right side up here in the center, assuming it works. And I'm also going to put one upside down on the opposite side. See if that changes it, like if it needs to be up right side up or something like that to get the right timing out of it. So let me go ahead and try it here with the electric lighter. See if I'm able to get it lit. And looks like it. Just going to kind of set it right there. You can see it's starting to burn and smoke. I'm going to take this one again using the electric lighter here, just kind of doing it right there on top. So it is nice that you can even use an electric lighter. And that one I'm just going to kind of throw on its side here. So I got my stopwatch one running. We got one that's laying there sideways. Then I got the other one straight up and down. And we'll see how long they take to completely burn out. It's been right at five minutes, as you can see there on my watch. You can see the one that I have upright looks to be a bigger flame and looks like it's definitely burning hotter and brighter than this one that I kind of laid on the side. We'll see if it's going to last, but it appears the one on the side is not going to last as long as the one set up right. But we'll find out for sure here in a minute. But I just want to give you a quick update here at the five minute mark. Both of those are still burning just on their own. No fuel added to either of them. So we're right at the 10 minute mark here on the stopwatch. Both of these are still on fire. Again, you can see the one that was upright is still a much bigger flame than the one that was turned sideways. So that one has kept a consistent large flame, whereas the sideways one has gotten kind of smaller and smaller and smaller. Now it is still burning on its own. Again, I didn't add any fuel to either of these. They're both just sitting on top of a pile of ashes. No added wood or paper or cardboard or anything like that onto either of them. So it definitely, if you're looking for a longer flame, setting it upright is the way to go. But we'll see exactly how long these two are going to last. Just as it is, again, the one there on the right is going to be the one that I laid sideways. And the one on the left is the one that I set upright. So we're past the 15 minute mark, almost at 16 minutes now. Again, these were only designed according to the box, 10 to 15 minutes. And we are still going strong with that one on the left that was put upright. The one here on the right that was laid on its side is just about to go out. So I'll give you exactly when that one goes out, but the flames have gotten really, really tiny on that one. Whereas that one you can see is still large. So 17 minutes, 30 seconds in, the one on the right that was turned sideways did go out. You can see that it is now just smoking. There are no more actual flames coming out of it. So it is still smoking, but again, that was the one on the side. So if you were looking for the longest possible fire, you will definitely want to put it upright. As you can see, this one is still going strong at 70, over 17 and a half minutes in. So I'll be back with you once this one goes out. So 1845 is about when the fire went out. It is still smoking here on the left. You can still see a little bit of embers. So you could truthfully still use this to light a fire with because there's still smoke coming out of it. So there still is so are some embers there, but there's no more flame coming up. So 1845 or around 18 minutes is how long you can expect this to last. And then putting 10 to 15 minutes on there is a huge bonus. Like most companies will over exaggerate how long things will last. So them saying 10 to 15 minutes and it actually lasting 18 minutes is honestly quite amazing so i'm definitely really pleased with that one last test that i did want to do on these is that it does say that it's going to be waterproof so i wanted to test out exactly what that meant so i'm going to have a bucket of water here i'm going to drop it in and soak it for five minutes inside of the water and then i'm going to see if it is actually waterproof or not so I'm starting a timer for five minutes here. This is a bucket full of water that I'm just going to drop it in. And it does kind of float. So that's actually really nice. Um, so I feel like that's a really good bonus is that it's designed to float. So if you drop it in like a lake or a river or something, 
that just continually floats up to the top. So that is nice. I am just going to leave it in here for five minutes. I'm going to get it really, really soaked. And then I want to do a time test. One, I'm going to see if it lights after being like left in water for a while. But then I'm also going to test out um, whether it will last as long once it, assuming it gets lit as one that was dry. One other thing I did want to test was if it's fully submerged, if that makes a difference as well. So I'm going to take this piece of wood and I'm going to kind of lay it on top of here, or at least I'm going to try and try and get it to see it go down to the bottom of the water here. And let me see if I can do that. And kind of, <laughs> so I'm going to try and get it, get it to stay down at the bottom um, to see if it being fully submerged affects its light or not. So I did end up getting it um, to stay down at the bottom. So I just had to put up a stick that wouldn't fall over. And I've got the one that's kind of floating. I'm going to leave those for that five minutes and then we'll see whether they light and how long they last. So I let those go for five minutes. Now I'm going to try and use the electric lighter on both of those. The one here on the left is going to be the one that was just sitting on top of the water. The one here on the right, right is the one that I intentionally submerged in the water. Again, I'm going to be using this electric lighter to see if it will light even when it is wet. And it is struggling here, which is kind of what I expected with it being wet. So waterproof does not necessarily mean it will light when it's wet even with this electric lighter. But I'm assuming that it means that they will still light once it dries out a little bit. So I'm gonna give them a little bit of time here to dry out and then we'll see how they light. So I got this one on the left here to actually light and you can kind of hear the water and it kind of making that noise. The one here on the left, I got it a little bit but there isn't really anything sticking up on that. So that one's having a little bit more difficulty lighting here. So let me try and get this one to actually light. And there we go, that one is now lit as well. So both of these are lit. The one on the right again was fully submerged for about five minutes. The one on the left was just sitting in water, the bottom part. So now what I'm gonna do is start a stopwatch and see how long they last now. So a little over five minutes in now, and as you can see, both of them are still burning without any issues. So despite the fact that they were in the water for the one here on the left and entirely submerged in water for the one here on the right. Getting them started was a little bit more difficult than when they were dry, that's 100% for sure. But even with an electric lighter, which doesn't put out a big flame, I was still able to get them lit. And once they were lit, although it took a little while for the flame to come up, they have stayed lit without any issues. So now I'll be back with you once they burn out to give you what that time is and see if that's any different with the ones that were in the water versus the ones that were dry. So 24 and a half minutes in, the one on the left went to just smoking, no more active flame. The one on the right, which was completely submerged in water, remind you, is still burning at 25 minutes in. Now, what I did notice is that the flames were smaller. Now, again, I took these directly out of the water and then just put them on in here in my fire pit. So... I believe what the extra water did was it caused it to burn a little bit slower. So once you get it lit, it will stay lit even if it's been recently submerged in water or, and truthfully you'd have to like do it on purpose to submerge it in water. Like if you would be if you threw the whole bin into the water or something, cause otherwise they do float. Like I had a difficulty getting that one to go into and stay submerged in the water. So looks like that one's about to go out 25 and a half minutes in on that one that was in the water and submerged in the water. And yep, there, the flame is about to go out on that one there. So overall, the waterproof on these things is absolutely amazing. They work amazing. They stay lit for way longer than what the manufacturer says. So definitely a great product.